My name is Shalane Frost. I'm active in the endurance community. I do endurance racing. I couldn't find a product that met my needs, so I decided that I would develop my own. And originally this, uh, it wasn't for profit, it wasn't for anybody else, it was just for my own cold nose. Um, but through iteration and through testing different prototypes, I found that there was actually a lot of interest from others in the ski community, uh, mushers, fat bikers, runners, anybody who does anything outside in the winter. I, I wasn't expecting to place in the Arctic Innovation Competition. I, I thought it would be fun to get up in front of a bunch of people and make some nose jokes. I was excited um, just, to, just to show off the idea and uh, to say snotsicle with a straight face. The prize money, it, it went towards um, not working and uh, more, more time put into the nose hat. I, I went to mentoring, mentoring on tap sessions with the folks from the Fairbanks Small Business Association. And I was just allowed to, or I was able to iterate more, make more things, do more tests. The best place as of now is on Facebook because you can choose your color. Uh, also, you can get them at Tracks with Door Center and also at Goldstream Sports. So the nose hat has been in every major endurance race in Alaska. So that includes the I Did Ride Trail Invitational, uh, a thousand mile race, mostly done by folks on bikes. Um, I, I've also had customers from, well I've had customers from all over the world, but I've had it worn in not just Alaska, but also endurance races in Minnesota. I mean, if I wanted to make a ton of money, I would have gone about this a very different way. But it's a cool Fairbanks thing, and we do these activities in the cold, and we need special gear, and it's fun to be unique. The most important thing I've learned about product development would be not to come in with a predefined notion of who your customer is and how they're going to use your product. So I came in thinking that my product would be used predominantly by skiers, and it wasn't. I came in thinking that folks would automatically know how to put it on, and they didn't. Uh, and I also came in thinking that nobody would want to wear something like this above zero degrees Fahrenheit. Not at all the case. Another thing that I learned in the product development process was that people like customization. They like their own colors, they like their own sizes. Originally I thought that it would just be one size fits all, but that's not the case. I, I definitely needed different sizes and different colors. Advice for future competitors, uh, have a prototype. Even if it's not what you intend to sell or it doesn't work or it's not quite right, have something that the judges can feel in their hands. The idea makes good sense in your own head, but in order to have it solidify in others, they need to be able to touch your product.